Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Publisher, you can input and save your business or personal information, including name, position, address, email, logo, phone, and more, into a business information set for ease of use in publications. You can create different business information sets for different users or different purposes. You can then select a set to use when creating a publication from a template in order to quickly and easily add that information to the publication in the designated areas. You can enter a business information set for the first time by clicking the Insert tab in the ribbon and then clicking the Business Information drop-down button that appears in the text group. Then select the Edit Business Information command near the bottom here, give that a click, to open up the Create New Business Information Set dialog box. In this dialog box you enter the desired information into the fields provided. We'll go ahead and do that. Change the address. And the phone number. And you can enter as much or as little information as you like here. And enter a tagline or a motto if you like. Now if you wish to add a photo or a logo, you can click the Add Logo button right here in order to open the Insert Pictures dialog box. You can then select the photo to use, so you could navigate to wherever that's located. Locate that image, and then click Open to add your logo. After you've done that then, at the bottom of the dialog box, you enter a name for this particular set of information into the Business Information Set Name text box. And we'll just call this TUC for Teach you Comp. Then when you're done, you click the Save button, and that will save that Business Information Set for you. Now at this point, the Business Information dialog box will appear that we see here. And in this dialog box, you can select which Business Information Set to use by selecting the name from the Select a Business Information Set drop-down right here. So that's where if you had multiple ones they would all be listed. If you have a publication that contains an existing set of information, you can choose a new set of information to use from that drop-down and then click the Update Publication button to update the publication with the new information from the selected business information set. You'll see that it's gone ahead and updated all of that information for us. Now let's look at that again. Give that a click. We'll click on that again to bring up that dialog box. Now you can also select a set of information from the drop down in the business information dialog box and then click the edit button located right here to open the edit business information set window where you can change the information and then click the save button to save any changes that you've made. You can also select an information set and then click the delete button right next to it to delete that selected set. You will need to click yes in the confirmation window that appears to make sure that you really do want to delete that set. To create a new business information set, click the New button in the Business Information dialog box. Click that here. 
and you would go through all of the same processes that we just did and then click Save again to create a new one. Now from that point on you can then select the name of the business set to use when prompted within a publication such as when creating a new publication from a template. You can also insert what are called building blocks which use this information as objects within your custom presentations. A building block is simply a grouped collection of pre-created shapes and text boxes that you can automatically insert into a publication page. So we'll close this out. To do this, you click the Business Information button in the text group on the Insert tab of the ribbon. And then click on the building block you wish to insert from the Contact Information section in the Buttons drop-down menu. So we would scroll down and under Contact Information here's all of the different building blocks that we see there. So you can choose one of those, for example, phone tear-off, and you could insert that if you wish. We'll go ahead and delete that for now. Now, if you want to insert more types of building blocks into your publication, you can click the Business Information button again, and then select the More Business Information command down here at the bottom. And that will open up the Building Block Library dialog box that we see here. And here you can select a building block to insert from the items shown, customize them in the right side of the dialog box if possible, and then click the Insert button to insert the selected building block into your publication. You can also simply click the Business Information button, again, and then click on the individual piece of information that you'd like to insert as a text box or shape into your current publication page from the Field selection in the Buttons drop-down menu. So under Fields, Individual Name, for example, you could give that a click and it will insert that into its own text box right here that we see. And so that's how you enter and manipulate business information. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.